Niggas in the city moving slow. 30, 30, 35, for the coat. All, all, all the real niggas keep you flow. Keep you flow. So Kanye is allegedly off the Zannies. So that nigga tweeting again. Tweeting a whole lot of rich nigga shit. But one of the most notable tweets was when he announced him and Cuddy have an album coming June 8th. Now if you know Kanye, you know him and Cuddy came together to make 808s and Heartbreaks. A lot of people love that shit. I love that shit. Classic. But I don't think, yeah, I don't think this new Kanye and Cuddy is going to be anywhere close to that. Cuddy dropped three albums since Man on the Moon? It might be more if if you if you're gonna more more? yeah because he talked he, he dropped the wizard album with his producer you know we had Indica and Man on the Moon two uh, the the new one it's called Passion and Demons uh, yeah uh, the destination Regardless. of Mother Moon that's five projects oh, bro oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay Man on the Moon two was the only good one after Man on the Moon two all of them shit's been straight garbage I don't remember which one of them one of them just had surfing with Pharrell it had one good song it was like twenty songs. That was the demon so Cuddy, team. That was the last one. Yeah, Cuddy ain't nowhere close to where he was back in the day. Cuddy fell off and is washed up. Um, Kanye's last album, The Life of Pablo, that was still a good album, but that wasn't some classic Kanye shit. That was Kanye at his worst. Like, yeah. you might go Jesus. That's the second worst album, Jesus, then Life of Pablo. Yeah, man. And Jesus is also trash. At least he was trying to go to the box with Jesus. With Life of Pablo, he was just making songs, and that still wasn't that good. Right. So I don't think this new Cuddy and Kanye going to be nothing to talk about. Yeah, like, this new, the the, the Cuddy, what's what's it called? A Kid See Ghost? Like, the yeah, title just even sounds. the group. Oh, yeah, that's the name of the group. Wow, bro. <laughs> yo, they might have the same therapist or something. It's like, yo, they were both talking to their therapist, and they're like, yo, what can we call it? What can we call each other? I don't know how that how that name comes about. Mm -hmm. Like, this project should have been. We should have received this project. What are we in? Two twenty eighteen. Yeah, should have got us the like eight years, five years ago. ago. Yeah, like yeah. twenty thirteen. Cause. <laughs> Wow, I don't even yeah like eight years ago because my view for Dark Twisted Fantasy is what 2010 and Cuddy's on um, yeah. Gorgeous yeah yeah like 2010 I'm just like ah dude the only reason I can see Kanye is doing this because I feel like he owes the favor to Cuddy you know they yeah. both dealt with depression and like everything Cuddy did for Kanye like again it, without, without 808 that album's not what it is with, without Cuddy okay, you know yeah. and, they, and they probably have a, a close relationship on like you know, he, it's it's probably that relationship where it's like how Kanye and Jay's relationship. Like Kanye's big oh, brother, Kanye looks up to Jay. Jay Cuddy looks up that way to 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 Kanye. So he's probably thinking like, yeah. man, yo, talk about talk about me being a hypocrite, right? Or it's like I owe this man. It's like fuck. And they're, again, they were both dealing with like depression. So like they probably did get in the studio. Probably like to them it makes some good records, but we don't. I don't know. In 2018, I don't know how this is like. Got so. some. Right again, it's not like it, it. It doesn't feel like this project's coming together because it's like, whoa, we make great, great music. It's like, yo, we fuck with each other. You're my guy, Cuddy. We've been going through the same thing. Boom, we're coming together. So that's how I feel about that one. And then. Yeah.